Yeah, so let's get right right to it then. Uh, yeah, your debut full length is actually coming out later this month, but let's start from the very beginning. Like, uh, Saul was founded already in 2017, but how did it all come together then? Um, well, Blake and myself are brothers, so we've been doing music for a while now. Um, we went through a handful of drummers and different concepts and ideas, and then we landed on uh, the EP Eons uh, with our song Brother back in, that was 17, wasn't it? 18? 19. We oh, technically 19. 19, yeah. Um, yeah, and then we just we were a three piece for a lot of years with just a drummer Blake would play bass, and then uh, he decided to just step up and be the front man, and we got Will as the bass player, and it's been all kind of history from there. Yeah, yeah. Talking about where it all started, and uh, you were saying how you were getting the band together. There is, of course, one metal band from Iowa that everybody knows, but how is the scene back there? actually how's the scene yeah the metal scene uh it's actually pretty solid most of the time the you know we have to travel quite a bit though uh, a lot of the cities are spread out which isn't that big of a deal but um you know every every city in iowa's got a pretty decent scene a lot of good bands in every city we get um a lot of really good national touring bands that come through the area as well so that's nice yeah, you guys seem a pretty uh, ambitious band. So what does it take nowadays to stand out from the vast mass? And how was your road actually to this point? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, sorry, Blake's here as well. Yeah, hi. Um, yeah, like he was saying, you know, a lot of hard work, I guess, in the infancy of Saul we would look at some of our influences um, and we would see what they're kind of doing, their writing style, what their social media um, game is like. And we would kind of replicate that. And then we just started doing our own thing and kind of growing to be who we are. Um, a lot of hard work, dedication, missing birthdays and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go to the beef then. The Rise as Equals is coming out on 23rd of this month. So uh, obviously there was a lot going on for you while making this album. So is there like an overall theme to this album and how did you see it as a whole? Well, the, the, our motto is Rise as Equals. Uh, back in 2000, I think 13 or 14, we had an EP called The Touching of Parallels and Blake had a really good uh, lyric in there it says uh, it said rising as equals and so um, you know as we started getting bigger we started calling our fans equals just to show that you know we can't do much without fans so we're all eye to eye um, and then the record label really liked that concept so we decided to call it rise rises equals it only made sense um, but I don't know, how, how do you say that it all kind of goes together? The overall theme? Yeah. I say the overall theme is definitely just real life experience. I mean, there's no real concept, but, um, you know, we took every experience that we had over the last year and really kind of brought it to life in every song that we wrote. And, you know, anything from like, you know, my fear of, of, of drowning and don't close your eyes to the self-titled track rises equals for the fans. Um, you know, everything, everything kind of, you know, evolved into that, just being real life experiences and fears and, and, you know, that's, that's really what we try to do for this album. Yeah. Yeah. It's your debut album as said, so very important album for you guys. And, and we are living in very turbulent times. So how was the process of making this album for you? You know, we started writing this record in June of 2019, right after we signed with Spine Farm. And, uh, you know, we had a, a deadline where we thought the album was done and we were ready to go out on tour with uh, Hell Yeah and all that remains early this year. But because of the pandemic hitting, uh, obviously we had a lot of free time. So the label asked us to go out and write a couple more songs and act. The pandemic actually kind of helped us because 
the last three or four songs we wrote on the record were probably the strongest songs on the record. And the very last song we wrote was actually King of Misery with David Draymond of Disturbs. Um, it made it difficult because we actually wrote uh, King of Misery over Zoom just like this with David. So it's kind of bizarre. We had some technical difficulties right away where the Zoom would squash the audio and compress it really hard. And so we had to do some settings and adjustments, but it was all right. I just hope one day we could work again with David um, face to face. It'd be cool. And how is it to put the important album out and publish it in these times? You know, I, I think it's very important. I think, you know, especially with the message we're trying to portray with the positivity and, you know, and coming together and working together as a whole. Um, I think it's real important that we drop this album right now, especially with the turmoil that the, you know, the American you know, people are, are seeing right now. So um, putting this album out is like a must for us. One being our first, uh, you know, full length record under a signed uh, record label. So, um, you know, I think it's something that, you know, we need something like this in the, in the, in the world. And the, the, the reaction from the fans, from the songs we've dropped so far, it's been huge. So I know everybody's really excited about it. I know the song alone, right? Sequels is uh a very positive message about sticking together and all becoming one and, you know, rising together. So we like to throw some positivity in there too. And we, the whole world needs that right now.